Before I get into the details on what the hell actually happened, I would just like to say my new account is going to be Crisco and Chrisio has been permanently banned, so I'm not able to log into my account, so pretty much everything is gone. So I want to talk about this apagado guy or apagado, I don't know, I don't speak Spanish. Apagado was a very popular YouTuber with 4,400 subscribers, if I remember correctly, and he had quite a large following, many friends. His main account was level 49 or 48, I forgot. But what did he do exactly? It all began when a user named on the Animal Jam Play World Item Worth Wiki in the discussions had posted that somebody bought all of their items for a huge amount of sapphires and overpaid. So of course, people wanted to sell to this guy because he was overpaying and of course people wanted an easy gain for their items. I'm ashamed to say this, but I was also one of the people who sold my items. And that's how I was banned. And Melody. And Vanilli. And Mystical. And over 10 people I do not know the name of. And Apagato himself, of course. Which was the only band that was actually deserved in my opinion. So what the heck did this guy do? One of Apagato's friends said that he got the sapphires illegally. And now that I look back on it, I think it's the only reasonable way he got the sapphires. Because then again, this guy spent over 1 million sapphires in one day. The reason why Apagado was overpaying so much was so he can get as many items as possible before action was taken on his account. And also because he had a huge amount of sapphires, so it wouldn't really matter if he overpaid. So why did people get banned, and why was it a bad idea? Well, it's obvious why it's a bad idea, because Animal Jam doesn't want extra sapphires circulating in their game. Making more sapphires available would mean that Animal Jam loses money. So why were people, other than Apocado, banned for this? So to start off, Apocado received the sapphires in a way that went against Animal Jam's TOS. He started to buy items like blackout spikes and force gauntlets, etc, etc, bow ties even, for more than what they were worth. And that's an incredible amount of sapphires. That's most likely over 3 million. Animal Jam is able to track sales and trades, so they saw this activity as suspicious. They must have thought one of two things. Animal Jam could have thought that the people Apagado gave the sapphires to are buying the sapphires from him for real money. On the other hand, Animal Jam could have banned the people who exchanged with Apocado because the situation was urgent and Animal Jam didn't want the fake sapphire to spread overnight. So they took the quickest option and banned everyone, which was a really unprofessional thing to do. Animal Jam could have temporarily suspended the accounts, delete not only Apocado sapphires but all of the sapphires in the accounts, and then people will be able to get back to their accounts once the suspension is done. It's a far better option to have all your sapphires gone rather than your entire account gone. But Animal Jam services are pretty crappy, so I don't think anything will be done about it. I'll be honest and say, maybe Apocado had some good intentions. Maybe he brought the sapphires into the game so he can get gifts for his friends. I don't think Apocado's intention was to ban people. But it's still wrong that his actions affected other people's accounts. When I visited Apocado's old pack, I realized that these people have also been banned as well. People like FJ717 were given gifts and sapphires by Apocado. The sapphires were fake, leading to the ban of these accounts. I know these accounts are banned because you can't go to their dens, and you can't search for their usernames anymore. I'm sorry if this video was hard to follow or confusing. Uh, I don't usually do this kind of stuff, so 